So we're here at the Orlando Science Center preparing for the eclipse of the sun and there's some technology that we have to create to actually see it. Like, just explain to me how to put this together. Yeah, so this is a, uh, called a solar pinhole viewer and this is a way to indirectly look at the eclipse if you're not gonna make it out or you don't have any way of getting um, safe solar glasses. Um, most people probably have a box of cereal at home but it doesn't have to be a box of cereal. Any cardboard box will do. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna find the longest length of the box. Um, and you'll cut two holes in it. One you're gonna leave nice and wide for your eye to look through, and the other one you're gonna cover with something that doesn't let light pass through it. We use aluminum foil here, but it can be black instruction paper or anything like that. You wanna block all of the light, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna poke a pinhole through it. Something with like a push pin, a toothpick, maybe a paper clip, but just a really tiny hole. And what you can do then is you can angle the light of the sun and it will actually focus through this pinhole and it will cast the shape of the crescent sun as it is starting to be eclipsed throughout the day so you can keep checking out throughout all the afternoon on Monday to see that eclipse. So what's the importance of some, uh, some uh, of a device like this? Yeah so um, I think one of the most important things about it is one it's really easy to make but it allows people to look at the eclipse indirectly because the whole thing is we want to enjoy this event, but we obviously don't want to burn our eyeballs. Uh, so uh, this is a great way to be able to see the eclipse and study it, but not necessarily injure our retinas while we're doing it. And there are detailed instructions on our website at www.osc.org on our eclipse page. That's where you have to go to purchase tickets if you're gonna come on over, but also has the instructions on how to make this at home so you can view safely. I appreciate you. So let me try this one here and see how it goes. I right, let me go yeah, to this other angle side. Around, get a nice parallel line through a parallel it. Parallel line. Okay. There let me do go. it this way. Uh, okay. Oh, go. I see it. I see it now. Yeah. Perfect. It's it's crazy how you can see it, but you can. It's yeah. it's incredible. I mean, it's so simple and it's so easy to make. Simple, easy design to make. Everyone can make it. If you're gonna try to make it, all you need is a carpet box, and scissors, and some tape. Obviously, you're gonna want adult help and supervision yeah. if you're gonna try to make it, but it should be a lot of fun. All right, thank you so much, thank you. Well, there you have it. If you wanna try it to do it yourself, we'll have the instructions for you. Reporting from Orlando Science Center, I'm Giovanni Diaz.